Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back for more Let's Play Super Mario World. This is part two. Today we're going to go into the Donut Plains. The first level in the Donut Plains is actually the first level where you can get probably my favorite power-up in the Mario uh, series in general, the cape. With the cape, well, you can fly. That's Oh, that was unlucky. So yeah, you can fly with the cape, and you can do it with Yoshi and without Yoshi. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you can get the cape uh, sometimes in normal blocks. You can get it with... Uh, if you hit a green block, which we'll go over later on in the series. And then you can also get it if you jump on those uh, Super Koopas with the flashing capes. Dang it, I keep getting hit. So this level's pretty easy. You got a few new enemies here, the Fire Lotus being one of them. And then there's also the... Okay, I keep screwing up, I really do. Uh, and the Super Koopa. And this pipe we have... I really don't want to say a tic-tac-toe game. But you have to hit the blocks in the right order. If you hit them all in the right order, you can get a 1-up. It's very... It's I think it's random for all of them. In here, you have a little coin room, and it's also a room where you can test your flight skill with the cape. Now, you can also fly with the cape with Yoshi as well, but with Yoshi, you can't do this, uh, you can't stay in air for this long. Uh, with Yoshi, you have to go so far and then bounce to, in order to keep going, on, bounce on an enemy or something. But with Cape Mario, you can keep it going by, you know, dipping down and then dipping up when you go down a certain length. And you can keep the cape going for as long as you can. I don't think there's any limit to how long you can do the cape. I've seen people who can carry on the cape flight with, for a very long time. Okay, if you lose Yoshi, you get Yoshi right here, which is pretty nice. Let's see. I need to get rid of this charge and chuck. And yes, uh, this is one of the first levels where you can actually find a charge and chuck doing something that isn't uh, just running around and jumping. In this uh, level, they throw baseballs. Uh, sometimes they can also kick footballs. They can also dig holes. They can divide into three different charge and chucks, and they can also uh, they can do something else. Uh, they can whistle and call for reinforcements. They can do a variety of different things. And you should be able to see all of them as we go through the game. Okay, when you get 100 points on the number at the top of the screen, you can play a bonus game, a tic-tac-toe bonus game. Uh, if you know how to tic play tic-tac-toe, you should know how this works. And every time you have a correct uh, row, you get a 1-up. It is possible to get all 9 blocks on the same... Uh, on the same power up. I think it's a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus. I think you can get 10 1 ups that way. Okay, Donut Plains 2. This is the first side scrolling level in the Super Mario World game. It's also the first underground cave level. Now, I'm actually not a big fan of uh, side scrolling levels because of moments like this when you think you're gonna die and there's a level later on in the game it's not really a side-scrolling level but it's a level where you have to wait for a very long time in order to continue and it just gets very very annoying and it takes like three minutes to go through this one room I'm talking about so in the future I might have to cut that out and speaking of cutting stuff out uh, since we are in Donut Plains now, we also can get introduced to secret exits and secret goals. Because I don't think there are any secret goals in the Yoshi's Island world. So, for um, my policy on doing levels like those, is I'll go through the entire level once. Then I'll, uh, later on, when I decide to go back through the level and then get the secret goal... I will enter the level and cut out some footage until I get to the point where I think it's relevant that I need the footage to be filmed and then I'll just show you how to get to the secret exit. 
when I was a kid, my aunt showed me where the secret goal was, like, immediately. So, like, for the longest time, I never went this far into the cave. So I didn't know, like, what was back this far. I had no idea about this part I'm at right now. So, like, when I first did this part, I was like, how do I do this? Because I keep... I kept dying to the sandbar, uh, going all the way up and squishing me. So I had no idea how to do that. Oh, this these are Spike Tops, the first appearance of Spike Tops in this game. It's also the first appearance of Buzzy Beetles and Swoops, I think. Swoopers. I didn't really go over that earlier on. And I also think it's also the first appearance of the charging chuck that throws, uh, not throws, but kicks a football at you. Uh, we'll go over that later when it becomes more relevant and we actually see that charging chuck. Okay, we're in the ghost house. Uh, not in every world, but in most worlds you'll find a ghost house. In some levels you'll actually find uh, two ghost houses. I believe this is one of the, uh, I think it's the only level where there's two ghost houses in one world. This is not really a maze, but uh, you have to go through that door up there twice. But I'm going to get the P-switch and show you what's in here. In here, we have a coin snake. Coin snakes may look like a good way to get one-ups and coins. But uh, they're actually used as a mechanic in later levels in order to find certain secret exits and secret goals. And they can be very, very annoying if you don't know how they work. So you get a lot of coins. I think there's about 50 coins right here. I didn't really stop to keep count or anything, but... I'd say 50 is a good estimate. Okay, so let's do this the right way. Enter here, hit the block, it's the P-switch again. All you do is go into the door again. Hit the block again, and you get a vine. The vine will take you to the exit. Or if you don't want to do any of this, you can just take the cape and fly up there. But I want to do it the normal right way. I didn't want to use the cheap way. So yay, we beat the Donut Ghost House. Okay, next we have Donut Plains 3. This is one of the levels that you can completely skip if you have the cape. And it doesn't matter if you have Yoshi or just uh, plain Mario. I think... I think both work pretty well. Also, if you uh, get a blue Koopa shell in your mouth with Yoshi, you can actually have wings for a short period of time. I'd say you have the shell for about 30 seconds, give or take. So I'm going to go back just a little bit so I can show you how to get up there without the cape, because you can. Go down here. And there's a vine right here. And that's how you get up there without using the cape. So you can get that dragon coin. Okay, here's a fun little mechanic. This isn't very this isn't used very much actually. It's only mainly used in two levels. There's a third level, but it's not very really, very hard to use it in that third level. But uh, this becomes a really difficult mechanic in the, one of the special zone stages. It's actually in my least favorite special zone stage. Or maybe the second least favorite, but whatever. Okay, ride this platform all the way over. And you find a pipe. Where we get to another one of these uh, random guess games. I think I get two one-ups this time. Let's see. Yep, one up. One up. There we go. Okay, uh, thanks to various users in the, the first video who uh, helped me with the star block, or actually it's called the bonus block, as Shadow Mario 41, the nerd of Mario games, corrected me on. Uh, in order to get the bonus block to work, you have to have collected 30 coins during the level, and then hit the block and you'll get a 1-up. I did not know that. I really thought it had something to do with uh, the time, or uh, your coin count, or maybe even the star point count. But 
I don't know. So yeah, just collect 30 coins during the level, and you'll get the one up whenever you hit the star block or the bonus block. Okay, uh, one last thing I'm gonna show you before I end the video. It's this is actually one of the secret goals. There's actually a secret railing up here. You follow the railing all the way to the end. And you have four blocks and a door. You get one-ups in the four blocks and the door will actually take you to the first secret exit of this Let's Play project. There's actually a secret exit in uh, Donut Plains 1 and 2. But uh, I'll go over that later on in the next episode when I actually go back to those levels. But until then, this is Slim Kirby uh, with Let's Play Super Mario World. See you next time for more Mario Madness.